Have you ever been on a shoot where it just doesn't make sense to bring a bunch of big and bulky equipment? I was, and still kind of am, a mostly run and gun shooter. So most of the time, lighting a scene or a subject must be done quickly, but you never want to sacrifice quality, right? So what's the compromise? We wanted a small but reliable lighting kit. And after doing some digging, we bought the Aperture MC4s. And while the price tag is a bit on the higher side compared to other options, they haven't let us down yet. This particular kit came with four lights in a hard shell case with wireless charging, which isn't technically completely wireless by the way, since you have to plug the case into the wall. And also two diffusion rubbers and two cold shoe ball head adapters. It should come with four each, but we'll look past it. The ability to charge all four lights with just one cable is neat, and they charge pretty quickly using USB-C. Wireless charging from the wall will take a bit longer though at around 3.5 hours, so just be prepared for that. The case also has two 5 amp USB ports, which is handy on set to recharge or power other devices like a phone or even a wireless receiver like our Teradek. The lights use Sidus mesh technology so you can control everything from the lighting pattern to temperature and intensity from the free Sidus Link app. You also get a readout of what each battery is at so you're not left guessing how long they have before they die. It even dynamically updates based on settings like intensity. At max brightness we found they will last around 1.5 to 2 hours, and at minimum brightness they can last up to 15 hours. Apparently this mesh technology allows 100 devices to be connected to a network at once, so you can technically run 100 of these things at one time, and if anyone does this please send us a video. This is the first mini LED kit that offers fine CCT control, so you can accurately get any color temperature out of these things. After some readings taken on our color meter with all the lights together, the tungsten reading was around 3100 Kelvin and the daylight reading was around 5400 Kelvin. Not perfect, but they were very close. Aperture also claims that these lights have a CRI of 96 plus, but our color meter showed 95 to 95 and a half for both tungsten and daylight. Once again, not perfect, but very close. You can even point your device straight at a light source and the lights will match that color temperature in seconds. To our surprise, the accuracy when doing this is actually pretty solid. The fact that it gets you into the ballpark at all with just your device camera is a nice feature to have in a pinch. Now personally, I love the versatility of these as accent lighting. The back side of the lights are magnetic so you can stick them on any metal surface. We use them for music video accent lighting as they add another layer of depth to these scenes. And also stuck them under some dark cabinets for a shoot we did for the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And with the right temperature, they looked extremely natural, almost like they were built into the cabinets themselves. If YouTube reviews like this one are your thing, I shot this product video of our red helium with just these lights. Also, if you're constantly on video calls or stream on Twitch, these work great as a webcam light or background lighting. The practical uses you can get out of these things are endless if you really think about it. With all that being said, my final thoughts are this is a great piece of gear that we didn't really know we needed until we got it. Small, simple, and you can keep them in your bag and use them almost spontaneously. Like I said before, they work exceptionally well with run and gun setups and for shoots where you can use just a bit of accent lighting. Now they aren't powerful enough to be used as a key light on professional shoots, but they will work fine as a natural light source for Twitch or Zoom calls. The price tag compared to other options from Nanlite or Godox is a bit on the expensive side, but Aperture is a great brand to get behind compared to the others, and we love using these with our Aperture light storms because we can control everything from just one app. Like most things in the film and photography world, it really comes down to your workflow and how well you would be able to utilize these lights in your kit. However, I do think every single run and gun shooter should have a kit like this in their arsenal. Find out what works for you and get creative with it. If you have one of these in your arsenal, please let us know how you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.